All right, I'm here with Steven from Lego. And Steven, we are sitting in, basically sitting on the moon, on right? The moon. Yes, we are. So tell me, what is the Moonbots Challenge? So the Moonbots Challenge is a fantastic new contest that we're going to run online, uh, internationally. Uh, it's a partnership between uh, the, the Google Lunar X Prize, meaning the X Prize Foundation, together with Google, National Instruments, uh, Lego. Uh, we have the Geek Dads from the Wired Magazine, it's a blog. Um, we're partnering up to actually make a fantastic contest where we are uh, asking teams to sign up uh, to be part of uh, th this contest where you actually have to emulate the Google Lunar X Prize, which is a challenge to get the first um, non-governmental uh, non rover on the moon. So students, describe to me the competition. The students, I understand right, anybody can enter and they have to give a presentation of what, why do we need to go to the moon, what my robot would do on the moon. It's 20 teams will be selected. So, well, we, we, can, we, we tied it up into, into two phases. In the first phase, we want as many, many teams to sign up as possible. And the first phase, they have to submit a technical project and tell us why they want to go, why we should go to the moon. Um, so, out of some criteria that we, we've selected, we would have judges find out uh, which teams has to go into phase two. In phase two, we'll have roughly 20 teams that uh, is, is then selected to, to actually compete in the final challenge, where they actually have to make a robot, a physical robot, and actually work in this moonscape that we are sitting in right now. Um, and, and those who compete, or uh, sorry, who complete the challenge, the fastest and with, with all the criteria wins. That's awesome. So their robot will have to navigate the moonscape. I understand they have to collect little the little pieces that represent different elements, combine them. They have to go to a charging station. They have to take a picture and all these different projects, all using Lego, uh, the NXT LabVIEW uh, to to simulate that Lunar X Prize. So Stephen, as you've worked with Lego for quite some time now, why is it why is Lego so dedicated and focused on helping kids in education? Well, see, the thing is, we 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 found out over many decades here, with, you know, working with Lego, that uh, our uh, building elements, the bricks, are very educative. Uh, children learn how to be constructive, creative uh, by assembling bricks. So, in an education environment, it's a natural tool to use to learn and teach. Uh, so, so children across the globe are using from. From, from kindergarten to actually to, to university, are using Lego to, to you know learn about sciences like STEM, uh, ICT uh, curriculum, and it's it's all across the board, all sorts of sciences, uh, both uh, soft skills and hard skills, and it's we we just have we just found out being humble, we just found out we have the right tools for, for for educating children and helping them out in the future. Well, I think that's great. I mean, I grew up doing Lego at home, and I wish I could have had Lego in the classroom. That would have been great. Yeah, sure. So, well, I think most of us know Lego, and we all have tried uh, playing with Lego at some point. Uh, so, what we normally say in the company, especially when I work with Lego Mindstorms, uh, which caters from uh, age 10 and up, uh, we talk about delivering uh, a robotics toolkit to children of all ages, right? We're all children, right? So, um, if, if you ever grow up, um, Hopefully you don't stop playing with Lego because this is a universal tool that you know we see a lot of adults uh, play with it still. So that's why we have such a high appeal, not just here at the first World Championship where you see first Lego League teams play with it. Uh, we also know that a lot of adults, like some of these uh, fans, we have adult fans, uh, have this as a passion, as a hobby, um, and are using it extensively to make fantastic inventions. Well, thank you very much, Stephen. Now, don't forget to learn more about the Moonbots Challenge. Go to moonbots.org. Thank you.